Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 258, Choo Choo Deja Vu. One evening, Mr. Percival arrived at the Scarlowy Railway Sheds. Exciting news, everyone! Rusty will be temporarily leaving us for some well-needed repairs, and I'm looking for an engine to take his trains to Boulder Mountain and back. Any volunteers? Well, count me out, said Luke. Something's not right with one of my wheels. I'm going to have Victor take a look at it. And I'm staying away from areas with falling rock, added Bertram. You can find me at the wharf until further notice. That track is bumpy and dangerous. Even the Blue Mountain Quarry is safer than that line. Peter Sam looked around. If nobody else is interested... Ooh, me, sir. I don't think I've ever been down that line before. But I would love for the chance to prove myself. Then it's settled. Millie, you will pull Rusty's trains until he returns. Peter Sam felt like he had been passed over. That was a bit unexpected, but I'm sure I'll get over it. The next morning, he woke bright and early. Well, see you all later, and take care of my trucks, Millie. <laughs> sure thing. Wow, this is so exciting. Just then, Scarloey puffed in. It's Groundhog Day, everyone. Aren't you all excited? Duke awoke with a start. It's not a real holiday, is it? Because I didn't get you guys anything. No worries, Duke. It's just a fun day. Peter Sam rolled his eyes. All right, I'm out of here. Millie, uh, good luck with those trucks. You're going to need it. Uh, thanks, I guess. Sheesh, who put oil in his water tank? For the rest of the day, Peter Sam wasn't very helpful. Bertram was forced to do all of the shunting at the wharf, and later he barely helped Duncan up the hill near the quarry. The engines were in for a surprise that evening. Oh, this has been a terrible day. Did you all hear what happened? No, what's the matter? Well, it all started when Rusty went to the works this morning. There was some sort of problem with Luke on one of those lifts that Victor uses, and Rusty was accidentally flattened to pieces. I'm afraid he won't be returning to us for a long time. The engines gasped. That's horrible. Poor Rusty, he didn't deserve that. And Luke was in such shock that he rolled off the lift and smashed himself up. Then Millie took the trucks to Boulder Mountain, and they pushed her along the track so fast that she crashed into the buffers at the end of the line. Meanwhile, Duncan was late picking up the workmen from the quarry, so they tried to climb down the mountain instead and ended up injuring themselves. And I just got word that Bertram reversed himself into the wharf by accident. Oh, it's just been terrible. This is a day I would certainly like to forget. Peter Sam looked around. What a mess. I'm just thankful that I don't have to relive today again. And maybe Mr. Percival will choose an engine with experience to haul Rusty's trucks from now on. And he gradually drifted off to sleep. But then, the next morning... Well, see you all later, and take care of my trucks, Millie. Whoa, Rusty, you're back already? Wow, that was a quick repair. Victor did a great job pulling out your dents. It looks like nothing happened. What happened? What are you talking about? You know, your accident with Luke yesterday at the works. Rusty chuckled. I've never been in an accident with Luke, and hopefully I never will. It's Groundhog Day, everyone. Aren't you all excited? Oh, ha ha, Scarloey, very funny. You did the same thing yesterday, but too bad it's not Groundhog Day anymore. The engines looked at each other. Uh, it is Groundhog Day, Peter Sam. Driver just told me. Peter Sam laughed. 
All right, you got me. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's very funny to play a trick on poor Peter Sam while he's still waking up. So who's going to pull Rusty's trucks now due to Millie's accident? Millie had an accident? When did this happen? I swear, nobody tells me anything around here. I'm perfectly fine, Peter Sam. You must have me confused with another engine. Peter Sam looked around. All right, whatever's going on here, I don't like it. Let's stop pretending it's yesterday to get a cheap laugh out of me. Sheesh, what's his problem? Who put oil in his water tank? Aha! You said that yesterday, Millie. You can't fool me. The engines didn't know what to say. Sorry, Peter Sam. We don't know what to tell you, but it's Groundhog Day for the rest of us. Mysteriously, Peter Sam's day went exactly like it did before. That night, Mr. Percival returned. I have some very sad news to report. Apparently, there was an accident at the works. <laughs> Let me guess, Luke flattened Rusty again and he fell off the lift. Yes, that's correct, Peter Sam. Not sure how you know that, but wait, I was just joking. It really happened again? You'd think Rusty would have learned his mistake the first time around. Um, sure, Peter Sam, whatever. Anyway, I have more bad news to report. Millie was pulling Rusty's trucks down the line, and she crashed into the buffers at Boulder Mountain. And Bertram slipped into the wharf, and Duncan's workmen fell down the mountain. This is all from yesterday, sir. Anything different happened today? This is news to me, said Sir Handel. Have you been spying on everyone, Peter Sam? Yes. How do you know everything? Peter Sam was shocked. Um, just a hunch. This is really strange. I probably need a good night's rest to clear my mind. But to Peter Sam's dismay, the same thing happened again. Well, see you all later, and take care of my trucks, Millie. No, no, no! Why does this keep happening to me? Yes, Scarloe, I'm happy it's Groundhog Day. No, Duke, it's not a holiday, and we don't need presents. And there's no oil in my water tank, Millie. Ugh. Peter Sam was dumbfounded. He eventually turned to Reneus for help. You're a smart engine. I know what I'm about to say sounds crazy, but you have to help me. I'm reliving the same day over and over again, and I can't make it stop. Well, that's peculiar. It sounds like deja vu to me. Deja... De deja what? Deja vu. It's a French saying. Go ask Millie if you don't believe me. It's the feeling you get when you do something for the first time, but you're certain you've already experienced it. Yes, that's exactly it. Every day I wake up and it's Groundhog Day again. And Millie crashes, Duncan's late, Rusty gets flattened, and Luke falls over. Everything happens right on the dot, and I don't have to do a thing. Reneus chuckled. All right, Peter Sam, I think you're just tired of the repetitive life here on the Scarloe Railway. Things do follow a pattern around here. May I suggest I don't want to talk to Mr. Percival about this. He never understands, and neither does Sir Topham Hatt or anybody else that comes and visits me. Reneus gasped. How did you know I was going to say that? Because, believe it or not, We've had this exact same conversation many times before. And no matter what I do, at the end of the day, I close my eyes and go to sleep. And the next morning, it's Groundhog Day all over again. And right now, you're about to say, I wish I could help, but there's nothing really I can do. And then the guard's whistle blows. And then about a minute from now, Bertram backs into the wharf and they have to fish him out. Reneus was shocked. Just then, the guard's whistle blew. Just like I said. Do you believe me now? Oh, of course you don't. You never do. Nobody does. Everybody tells me to go get some rest and the cycle repeats. Renea sighed. Well, like you said, 
I wish I could help. If you are actually reliving this day over and over again, and those terrible things keep happening to Millie and Rusty and Bertram, maybe you could try to help them out? If I knew my friends were in trouble, I would do everything I could to prevent whatever's going to happen. Peter Sam looked around. I guess I could try, and it would make me feel better inside. I am tired of seeing Rusty getting flattened every morning. The next day, Peter Sam quickly rushed off to the works and arrived just in time. Whoa, Rusty, I wouldn't stop there if I were you. Something really weird is about to... Suddenly, the lift came crashing down. Luke was very surprised. Well, that came out of nowhere. Is everybody all right? Oh, Rusty and Peter Sam, good thing you weren't beneath me when that broke. That could have been very bad. Well, I'll be. I don't know how you knew that was going to happen, Peter Sam, but I'm glad you did something. I would have been squashed. It's no trouble at all, Rusty. Let's see, who's next? Oh, I think Millie's about to take her trucks. I have to get over there and do something. Sure enough, just as Millie lost control of her cars, Peter Sam was there to save the day. Instead of crashing through the buffers as usual, the train arrived intact and on time. Is that you, Peter Sam? How did you know I was going to be in trouble? Well, I figured it's your first time on this line, and these trucks are indeed troublesome. We could all use a little help here and there. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to stop without you. Gee, Peter Sam, your help sure is appreciated. I wouldn't have been able to make it to the top in time without your assistance. No problem. And since you're here, these workmen won't have to try and climb down the mountain by themselves. Believe me, you don't want to try that. It doesn't end well. Let's see, uh... Oh, Bertram, of course! With just a moment to spare, Peter Sam rushed into the wharf and managed to pull Bertram back onto the track. That was incredible, Peter Sam. You arrived so quickly and you knew exactly what to do. Look at me, a silly old engine. Yes, a silly old engine who's had a long hard day of work and forgot what line he was on. It's no trouble, Bertram. I'm just glad I could save you this time. Reneus smiled. That was impressive, Peter Sam. How did you know Bertram was going to need your help? Well, if history's taught me anything, it's that there's always an engine in need on the Scarloe Railway. Besides, you were the one who told me I should go around and help everyone, and so I did. Reneus laughed. I don't remember that conversation, but I'm glad you're being a good friend. Right, of course you don't. And tomorrow, we'll have the same conversation over and over and over. Oh, I'm not sure if this was worth it all or not. That night, Peter Sam prepared to close his eyes once again. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that. This is never going to end, is it? But to Peter Sam's surprise... Wake up, Peter Sam! I've just heard from all of the other engines about the incredible day you had yesterday. Peter Sam looked around. Yesterday? Yes, you saved Rusty from a nasty accident at the works, you helped Millie stop her runaway train, push Duncan up the hill, and stop Bertram from falling into the water. Well done, my dear engine. You've made me very proud. You've made all of us proud, said Scarloey. Somehow, you were in the right places at the right times yesterday and saved several engines from certain disaster. We should all strive to be just as helpful as you from now on. Peter Sam breathed a sigh of relief. Well, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again.